In today's video, we're going to do a little sciencing. Woo! <laughs> this is a really cool, geeky, nerdy, eccentric present that Joe got for me because he knows I'm weird. And that's why he loves me, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so today is this cool little excavation day. So it says it has gemstones in it and you dig them out. There's this handy little illustration. These super um, highly sought after tools. I mean, every archeologist out there is probably like, whoa, where did you get those? And then here is our solid piece of material that we're gonna find treasures in, we'll see. It says, discover hidden pirate treasure. And as a granny, I like to test some of these toys out to see how they do. This says six plus. However, I have very advanced littles in my life and with proper supervision, they can usually handle certain crafts that are a little bit more advanced than their ages. So I'm going to test this out, see how this works. Plus, again, like I said, Joe knows stuff like this just warms my little black heart. So we're going to pretend we're pirates slash archaeologists, and we're going to dig out some jewels. Here's the directions. Supposedly in this, there's a hammer. I'm sorry, additional materials required. A hammer, safety goggles, or other eye protection. And in it, it has stone, chisel, cleaning brush, and instructions. And woo, here are our instructions. Dude. So this is a dollar store product. So if we're successful with this today, I will be getting more. I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm gonna set this camera up, so then get ready for some wonky angles. <laughs> I'm just saying. So here we go. Let me get the rest of the materials I need and we're gonna start excavating. I've unboxed this. This was in a clear saran wrap type material. Uh, just a heads up. And it feels kind of like chalk in your hand. And as you can see, it's already kind of coming off in my fingers there. So let's get excavating. Okay, so here we go, guys. Here's our little chalk. Here are our little baby tools that came with it. I also have grabbed a butter knife, a spoon, and a bit of a sharper knife. Um, I don't think we're going to need a hammer like it said, just because it's coming off like on my fingers and stuff. So we'll get into it and see what happens. This may be a little asmr -y for some of you. I don't know. I'm just going to get in here and start digging. probably gonna make a ginormous mess this was one of the first jobs I was ever interesting interested in doing as a kid I was being an archaeologist no being a pirate <laughs> yeah actually probably was being a pirate first and then I remember cognizantly like in fifth I'm sorry fifth when I was around five in kindergarten I was like you know what being able to dig in the ground for a living and find cool treasures and add to history how amazing would that be but that fell by the wayside and i'm wondering if in some of these chunks i'm actually digging out some of the treasures let's see let's do a little pat down here and see no nothing in here i don't think if those of you um if are questioning when i mention things like asmr that's um Google it. I, it's a really long explanation. I'm not getting into it right now. <laughs> um, but it's one of my favorite things to do when I can't sleep or I'm in a lot of pain. It's very calming and puts me in a very like hypnotic chill out state. And so when I say this may be a little ASMR, that's what I mean. Google it. Look it up. It works great for me. For my chronic illness warriors, it might work well for you when you're hurting as well. 
Ooh, I'm having a hard time right here. This might be a treasure. You guys are probably cringing as I do this. Like, oh, she's going to kill herself. Nope, nothing there. Okay, let's use this little thing. See if what we're working with here. Looks like mountains so far. What were some of the professions you guys thought about when you were kids? I also wanted to be a lawyer, specifically a divorce lawyer. I don't know. I think it's because I grew up right outside Atlanta at the time, and those were the lawyers making bank. <laughs> Sad, but true. I feel like some of these chunks, I'm missing something, but I don't know. Are you guys seeing stuff I'm not seeing? Here's their little baby scraper. Like this is much more child appropriate. I would imagine letting your kids just like sit there and grind away <laughs> with these dull tools for hours. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Where's my treasure? Okay, here we go. What? I think I see something. Here is one of the crystals. It's all dusty. Let's get our little brush. That's really pretty. I'm definitely going to put that on my altar. My little sacred space. Let's see if I can find anything else. Look, I'm so impatient. <laughs> Y'all, if that was the only thing in this entire piece of chalk, I'm going to be like, really? But that was a pretty tiny piece, so I could easily see myself m missing it in one of these larger hunks. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Let's squash. Squash away, see what happens. Washing all these pieces just to make sure that I haven't missed any little tiny jewels. Because that little shard of crystal was tiny. I promise this is not bad, y'all. <laughs> this is legit a toy. If you're coming in halfway through this uh, video and all you see is me crunching up a bunch of white powder. <laughs> um... This is child proof. This is child friendly, I should say. This is not anything else. This isn't Coca Cola without the cola. Some of my model friends know about that. Hey, <laughs> spilling some tea, spilling some tea. I shouldn't say they're friends. I thought they're more like acquaintances. I do not knowingly put myself in situations like that anymore. 
especially now that I have daughters and grandkids. So yeah, I've pretty much smashed this shite to pieces and there is nothing else in it. So my review is, this is fun. I can imagine this is time consuming for kids and they feel like they're gonna be super important when they find that one little piece of <laughs> this one tiny, tiny little jewel. It's pretty. But that's all I got out of that entire cube. So my review is a 50-50. It's not really build properly. Like there's one item you can find in there and they should pretty much be straight up with you about that, I think. But I do feel like this would take up a lot of time and a lot, you, um, the kids would be really using their imagination the whole time while they're trying to dig out their one, whatever it is. Because <laughs> apparently these um, differ. So you can get like different themes. But Joe knows I love gemstones, so that's why I got that kind. And that's why we see this little bad boy right here. Right here. So pretty. All right. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to go clean up, y'all. I love you.